Hello and welcome to this tutorial on configuring Cisco banners. So what is a banner? Well, it's just a very simple way to display some text to a user. And so it's just a messaging technique, really. There are three types of banners, and we'll review all three. And then we'll talk a little bit about the delimiting character and why that's very important. And then finally, we'll just jump into some configuration examples and show you how it's done. OK, let's look at the three banner types. The first one is the message of the day. And this is displayed before all other banners. And it's displayed before the user logs in. So if you telnet or SSH to a router or a switch, this is the one, if configured, you would see first. And the message of the day is used to display messages of the day, meaning this can be a temporary message. It's meant if you have a, uh, a message to relay to users that changes often and you want them to know it right off the bat, this is the one you would use. So it's not a permanent banner. You don't have to configure this. The second banner is the login banner. And this is displayed after the message of the day, but before the user actually logs in. And here, this banner is used to usually display information about logging in. Most companies use it to say something to the effect of unauthorized access is prohibited. You can also see all sorts of messages regarding contacting the company of this particular router or switch. So if you have questions, please email us at knock at whoever. So it's a message regarding actually logging into the device. The third banner is the exec banner, and this is only displayed after you successfully log in. So the other two you can see, and you're not actually a valid user, but you see those two messages. The exec message is only displayed after you are authorized. So it's a private message. You can put whatever you want in there for any type of reason, um, but just know that it is more secure because you can only see it if you log in. OK, delimiting characters are good to understand before we actually jump into the configurations. So you need to tell the Cisco IOS when a banner begins and when it ends. Because banners can be multiple lines. You can hit enter, type a second line or a third line, and keep going. So the IOS has no way to know where it starts and where it ends. So this is what a delimiting character does. So that means if you, if you choose your character, you want to use a character that's unique or rather one that is not used in the banner itself. Because the first time you enter it, it signifies the beginning. And then the second time it shows up, the Cisco IOS will read that as the end of the message. So everything after that will not get displayed. So you can see these are two examples of the limiting characters you could use, assuming they are not themselves used in the banner itself. This will be a bit more clear when we look at a configuration example. OK, so we're here at a router command line. And so let's configure some banners. Go into configuration mode. And the command we're interested in is banner. I will question mark that. And you can take a look at the available parameters. We see message of the day, login, and exec. Those are the three we're interested in. If you don't specify any parameter, it defaults to message of the day. So keep that in mind. You don't have to type message of the day. I will, just to be clear, I will choose my delimiting character. And now I'm ready to start typing. I can begin here, or I can create a few extra lines, some padding. I recommend doing that because when these are displayed, if you don't introduce some padding at the top and the bottom of your message, it will just be displayed right after something else on the screen and it can get kind of jumbled and, and hard to read. So this is what I recommend. You can see the iOS is pretty smart. It picked up on the hash that I'm using for the delimiter, and then it states end with the character, and it copies that. So it knows what I'm using, and it's kind of reminding me to use this again. So I can just start. This is our MOTD. I can skip a line, line two, line three. And I'll give myself some, some room at the bottom and end it. And then that kicks me out of the banner. Now I'm back in global configuration mode. So let's take a look at our configuration to see what it looks like. And here it is, banner message of the day. And we can see the spaces we entered, the, the line returns, and then our message itself. And you see the delimiting characters. So let's actually take a look. I'll clear the screen and... I will log back in, and let's see if we actually get a message of the day. And there we go. This is our MOTD, line two, line three, and then we're prompted as usual for a password. So it worked. 
And you can see if I didn't add the buffer at the top and the bottom, the blank lines, this would have been displayed on the screen right after the exit test text or the next line. It would have been a little bit cluttered. So it's, it's just a preference, but I recommend it. Um, so let's go ahead and configure the other two as well. Let's do the login banner. I will cho choose a delimiter just like this. I'll give myself some space and I'll use the unauthorized access prohibited message. There we go. While I'm here, I'll go ahead and configure the exec banner as well. I'll use a different delimiter this time. And welcome to this router. And I'll put a smiley. There we go. So let me clear some of the screen here and I will log out. And now let's log back in and see if we have all three. Okay, so we start off, we see our message of the day. And then right after that, we see our unauthorized access prohibited. So that's our login banner. And again, I'm glad we put in those buffers because everything's very clear. It's separated by a couple lines. I can log in and look at that. As soon as I do, welcome to this router. That is our exec banner. And there we have all three banners. If you want to remove a banner, it's pretty simple. You just choose the one you want and use the no command in the front. So no banner. And if we're not interested in a message of the day, you don't have to repeat the entire banner itself. You can just go ahead and specify that. And if we check our configuration now, you can see we have a exec banner and we have a login banner, but we no longer have the message of the day. And that's it, folks. That's everything you need to know about creating banners on Cisco routers and switches. Thanks for watching.